On the dish this morning, Arthusa Altavolo, the restaurant created by two men who made their name in the shoe business, making Manolo Blahnik a global brand, helped in part by the HBO show Sex in the City. Michelle actually first visited them a decade ago after they bought a farm, far away from the hustle and bustle of New York City. Since then, a lot has changed, and a claim is rolling in, as we found out on a recent visit to Bantam, Connecticut. It's really transformed this town. Well, in the last few years, the small town of Bantam, two hours north of New York City, has gotten a sweet new look. Have a great day, ladies. Happy holidays. The ice cream shop, it used to be the Bantam Firehouse. When we decided on a dairy plant, we needed to be five miles from the farm. The farm Anthony Urgaitis is talking about is in nearby Litchfield. But Arethusa is so much more. It's that dairy on the corner, serving up heaping scoops of ice cream, even on winter mornings. And the bakery across the street, hand rolling bagels and donuts. But the crown jewel is Al Tavolo, the high-end restaurant opened in 2013, where Dan McGill, is the executive chef. I think it's just a perfect blend of having an owner that respects you and trusts you enough to, you know, take the reins and run it how you would see fit. That would be you, the owner who empowers and trusts. Well, it was about our vision. And I think our vision attracted talent. Your guidance is no stranger to talent. Oh, oh I love this. That's a nice one. After decades working with famed shoe designer Manolo Blahnik, Jurgaitis and his partner George Malcolmus set out to save open farmland, which got them into the dairy game. Starting with five cows, their herd grew to more than 400. The goal was to serve dairy and milk the way it used to taste, as McGill explained, using low heat pasteurization. You're doing it for a longer period of time, but at a lower heat. So you're not killing all the bacteria. When you ultra pasteurize, a lot of times you're killing all the bacteria, including the good right. bacteria, which gives milk its characteristic and its taste. But low heat costs more money and takes more time. It does. When you take some of that milk, throw in eggs, along with cream, sugar, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon, you get maybe the best eggnog ever. Now this is real old school eggnog. Yes. Eggnog, especially this time of year, flies off the shelves. But first, it needs to be bottled and capped. I'm gonna speed it up just a little. Ready? Ready? You're doing it faster now? Yeah, we'll yes, sir. Yeah. Jesus. Go we'll speed ahead. Is this how you, like, break new people in? You torture them with the fast treatment? Done. In the cheese cave, Finished wheels age anywhere from weeks to months. This Europa, the Arethusa take on a Dutch Gouda, was just named the best in the country at the 2023 U.S. Cheese Championships. Do I empty the water out first? Yes, yes, yes. Plant manager Chris Cassiello showed us how they smash cheese wheels to keep them even early in the process. When I do it, I'll bring it over and I'll do the flip first. It might seem simple, but the stakes were high. Oof, I feel like there's a lot of pressure right now. Seems easier than fly fishing, though. Up and down, just feel, no, just go up and down and feel the shoulder. Jeff, oh. we're not doing the back cast. Okay, we're not doing the back casting. Smash. Love it. Now we'll up. Let's see what we did. Did I get it? You got them, they're all seated perfect. Yes. Look at that. We got uh, 25 more to go. <laughs> With an operation like this hitting on all cylinders, it's no wonder that on Open Tables, just released list of the 100 top restaurants in the country, the only one in Connecticut was Al Tavolo. To know that we are basically hitting it with, you know, the way that it's intended with our guests and our clientele, then that's the most rewarding because that, yeah, that's where, who we're aiming to please. And they're the ones that are basically giving us this award. Our dish presentation started with a couple choices that have been on the menu here since the beginning. Poached lobster and avocado salad with vanilla brioche and grapefruit. 
and hamachi tartare with wasabi-flavored fish roe on top. I think there's a reason why both of those have been on the menu for, <laughs> for 10 years. What should I do next? We had cod with fingerling potatoes, green beans, horseradish, pickled onion, and radishes. And what's the sauce? Wow, that sauce is amazing. It's a Meyer lemon nage. Jeez. Diver scallops were served with Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, black rice, and a Madras curry carrot sauce. There was a grilled strip steak with bone marrow crust, poached halibut, and duck with orange blossom honey, pears, dates, and almonds. This funny thing about this duck is it's from um, Crescent Farms, which is an aqua bog, and I literally grew up maybe less than 10 minutes away from where this duck was actually raised. The dishes were accompanied by homemade sourdough and salt and vinegar chips, all of it meticulously prepared by McGill. I mean, I work the line every night, and I have since we first opened. I do a lot of the fish dishes mainly, just because, you know, growing up on Long Island, that was my passion, you know, surrounded by water and even now moving to New England area. How many chefs who have been doing it for 10 years still work on the line every single night? Um, I'm going to say probably not too many. Yeah. Probably not I, too many. Like none. For desserts, a board of cheese, including the award-winning Europa, chocolate chestnut cake, apple cake with homemade vanilla ice cream, pumpkin cheesecake with pumpkin seed brittle, and sticky toffee pudding with a butter pecan ice cream. That ice cream, no surprise, is absurd. Arethusa al Tavolo is the fully realized version of farm to table. Even though half of the original partnership is no longer here. Sadly, George Malcolmus passed away in 2021 at the age of 67. We always said if we couldn't do it right, we wouldn't do it. Yeah, so, and you think we found that? So. Yeah. But you, I, and you, you think he'd be proud of what uh, you've been able to continue? Oh, we're continuing, right? Right. Yeah. I think he's smiling. Mm, it's so good to see. If, yeah. If, him. We couldn't, if we couldn't do it right, yeah, we wouldn't do it. Amen. They were, they were a classic pair. Um, it's so fitting that they were in the shoe business, but they really, really cared about yeah. what was happening in Connecticut farmland. They clearly cared. The That's taste great. of this, by the way, I tasted the... They sent some ama amazing. amazing selection here, so thank you to mm. Arethusa for sending the cheese. Mm. This is the Europa you're eating right I now, get which why is it's the best cheese at, at the championships in the entire country. The creaminess it's of their, it. The, it's the Dutch Gouda, also the Camembert is here too. It's and you know what's so really good. cool is you go visit Bansom, Connecticut and you go to these shops. You, these people are walking out of the ice cream shops at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning in December. <gasps> ice cream. The and egg. Oh my okay, God. Egg is, right, it's, you and, were, you said the best it's egg. Not, it is. Oh it is. Wow, it is. It's the notes on the end. And they don't overcharge. It's mm. not that expensive. No, and it's incredible. It's amazing.